Hey y'all. I've got another good one for you today. Today we're going to do southern chicken spaghetti with Rotel. And we need to go ahead and get started. I did change my um, chicken from chicken breast to chicken thighs because I ran out of chicken breast and I didn't have any. So we're going to go with that and um, preheat your oven to 350. Go ahead and do that and get that going. The first thing you need to do is get you out a microwavable bowl or microwave safe bowl because um, we got to do some microwave cooking first. So you're going to need one of the big cans of Campbell's. Well, it doesn't have to be Campbell's. I'm sorry. Cream and chicken soup. Um, it's a 21 ounce can. Yeah, this one's a 22, but the family size can. It doesn't have to be name brand though. I'm sorry I said that. And it doesn't have to be fat freeze. This is just what I had on the on the shelf. I'm just hoping that you know the flavor won't be compromised with anything by using this because you know all the stuff mixed in together. All right, then you need to add a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, otherwise known as Rotel. Okay, and we need to add about six ounces of cream cheese. I've got that ready. go in okay now before we put this in the microwave I want to go over it with you real quick you need to go ahead and have your chicken breast or chicken pieces already boiled and cooked and chopped or shredded whichever set those aside you also need to have a pound of spaghetti broken into two inch pieces boiled cooked drained set aside okay now let's get back to it um you need to take this mixture here and put it in your microwave and you keep heating it until it's smooth and creamy so it's going to take a little while because you've got the brick cream cheese so just keep doing it don't burn it uh, i would do it like a minute at a time and then do 30 seconds after that as it softens so you don't burn it i'll be right back i need to start in two cups of cheddar there's one cup two cups now you will need three cups shredded and I do have that um, but you're supposed to divide it so two cups goes into this mixture and you will start until smooth It just, it calls for like a quarter of a cup. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put the quarter of a cup in there. Um, just, you know, just for good measure. So there's that. Um, you can use heavy cream or milk. I need to add the chopped up chicken. So I got that here. Okay, stirring as I go. Okay, the next step is, oh, and I forgot, onions, peppers, sauteed, set aside as well. I don't know if I said that earlier. And I did do that. I just used a, just a little bit of olive oil. that. I believe we won't have to add much more because I'm like running out of room here. Okay, now the next step would be to go ahead and put it into a grease casserole dish topped with um, the last cup of cheese, the remaining cup, and bake it for 20 minutes until it's heated through, the cheese is melted, and that's it. 
Um, the recipe also states that you can freeze it at this point and then just, you know, take it out and cook it. Okay, so I want to get casserole dish, got it sprayed with spray. And now we're putting our mixture in here. Top of the remaining cheese. Okay, put it in the oven, 350 for 20 minutes until hot and bubbly and cheese is melted. Doesn't say anything about it being covered while it's baking. So just keep an eye on it. All right, see you back here in a few. Okay, the spaghetti is now out of the oven and it looks great. I'm sure it's gonna taste great, it smells great. Um, so I just left it in long enough for it to get hot and bubbly, about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. And you just have to watch it and make sure that's all. That's it. It's real easy to do. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.